Hey folks, all at the one here. Welcome to another video. Now this is a concept I've kind of been working on for a while now. This is like a last ditch little survival kit that just stays next to my medical kit in my rucksack. Um, I wanted it to be very lightweight, which it is. I'm not sure about the weight. I would estimate probably about 150 grams or thereabouts. Uh, very compact as you can see. And uh, it's just minimal fuss gives you some life-saving options um, if I should lose any of my main pieces of kit which I usually carry on my person or have close at hand or again <coughs> if I become separated from it for any reason so this just as I said sits alongside uh, my one-man medical kit um, if you want to see the full medical kit then uh, please follow this link up here um, but basically we'll go through the items now and I'll just give a little explanation as to why I think each of these are important I mean it's all stuff that you've probably seen before in survival kits nothing spectacular but just some good basics in here okay so let's start off with signal mirror uh, this has a protective film over it which once taken off becomes a perfectly crystal clear mirror um, definitely handy for signaling daytime nighttime We've got the reverse which is a uh, so less approved uh, retro reflective um, tape basically which I've stuck onto the reverse cut down neatly around the edges and that gives you day and night signaling capabilities shining a torch onto this you can be visible for literally hundreds of meters I've tried it myself definitely works very effective next up we have repurposed my um, old EDC knife uh, a little modified opinel uh, that's really good for striking a fire steel it's carbon steel really does strike a flint nicely a uh, very slicey little blade nice point on it could even be used for uh, skinning for example um, yeah very lightweight option as well importantly and very compact as you can see next up we have a small vial of surgical spirit um, burns really nicely also good for uh, disinfecting tools or wounds um, multi-purpose item obviously you can get rid of the liquid and uh, use the container for a bit of uh, waterproof tinder for example anything along those lines again another multi-purpose item also in there we have one of my um, tinder cards basically wrapped in a mylar bag sealed in nicely waterproof tinder simply open and ignite um, good stuff burns for about two minutes a square of that size so with the correct fire preparation that should be plenty to get your fire going alongside that also some matches with striker again sealed in mylar for total waterproofing um, again this can be used as a reflective material also to signal next up we have a fire steel striker um, but importantly also has a bi-tone whistle so very audible really ear, piece, ear piercing shriek excuse me um, again good for fire steel scraping as well really does throw a nice spark next up if you're feeling particularly not gifted one day 
we can just use a lighter, get that fire going. Unlike um, petrol lighters, um, fuel lighters, this will never evaporate. So um, always good. Good for about 20 to 30 strikes, obviously small reservoir, um, but good in the short term and very easy to use. Next up in here, we have a dedicated whistle. This is a tritone whistle, very, very loud, audible over a long distance. Um, I've already got a whistle in there, so why another one? Perhaps if I'm out with someone, this could be a way to maintain communication to some extent. Next up in here, we have a Photon Freedom. Really love these little things. This one has a glow in the dark panel on one side, really does glow up nicely. When charged for the you know with a bright torch for the first like five minutes I'd say after being charged you can actually read a map by the light given off by this little glow in the dark panel. Um, also just helps to locate it easily in the dark. Um, just keep on this little clip there to avoid accidental activations of the button which is on this side. Nice little squeeze function and also has lots of other functions including my favourite function, the ultra low mode which is practically maybe half a lumen, something along those lines. But actually once you get your night vision in this is really good for up close tasks but you can ramp it right up to the full and then obviously has all the other flashing modes let's see now there we go we've got slow flash we've got strobe etc etc SOS all that good stuff and obviously you can use it in just a good old Morse code mode just squeeze for the light but lots of function there and uh, with the lithium batteries really long shelf life so always ready to go uh, should the need arise um, obviously the purpose of this kit is to actually never be used hopefully this is just uh, the fallback kit as I said if I have to use it for any kind of emergencies Next up we have a small fire still, uh, just been recently used this in a video but this is more or less new uh, so plenty of strikes left in it obviously used in combination with the um, fire steel striker. Uh, next up we have a small survival compass, high luminosity markings on this plate, uh, brass compass, good quality survival compass sealed um, unit so um, water ingress won't be a problem uh, this is a dry housed compass so uh, no liquid in there uh, it's just a preference really but um, yeah pretty accurate for a compass of this size definitely um, you know stops you going around in circles in a forest for example and finally in the kit we have some Kevlar cordage which is basically on this reel here you can just pull it out um, if you want stronger cordage obviously this can be wound up and uh, weaved so um, yeah lots of possibilities there good length of cordage for small little tying jobs and uh, repairs etc yeah so this as I said this kit just sits in my um, rucksack alongside my medical kit um, there are no water options in here because those are inside my medical kit in a waterproof container so sitting alongside that this gives you quite a lot of capability basically so basically alongside the medical kit I've got fire water shelter some food ability making snares from this Kevlar wire is definitely durable um, and it's strong enough to hold um, definitely got a lot of signaling capability here and even some navigational ability and obviously just lighting and fire lighting so that's it for now 
Hope you enjoyed. Um, thanks for watching and I appreciate all your help and support. This is All Outdoor One signing out for now. Remember, the best survival tool is ingenuity. Take care. Thank you.